What is going on, everybody? I know this is probably going to be like a day or two to this video actually releases because I'm going to do a lot of editing to it. And um, I'm trying to get my editing skills really up to par. And I want to improve into the videos that we put onto the channel and everything. So um, it probably will come out tomorrow, which will be the 8th on Thursday, I'm thinking. There was a lot that I've have to search, uh, download, and then uh, try to get all this stuff together for the video. So this video here is uh, for Magnus's channel. He does the Magnus box. If you guys go back to, I think it's the previous video where I opened one up. I mean, it's just an awesome repack of uh, hobby packs. I think it might have been retailing some of his. I'm not too sure, but I think he's trying to stick with straight hobby, if I remember right. In his video, um, guys, I'll have Magnus' channel link down below. So uh, make sure you check it out, and uh, you'll see the whole video with what all of you guys want to do a video as well, which I highly encourage you to do. Um, check it out and try to produce one too. I mean, just a video showing off some stuff. But he wanted to. Uh, Three channels that, you know, I guess you could say are kind of like my favorite channels in a way to go and watch. And there's a lot of channels out there, a lot of good, good, good channels. So if you hit make my top three, don't take any offense to it or nothing like that. Um, to be honest, I was going to pick Logan Paul, who, if anybody knows, is a big influencer on YouTube. But the only reason why is he's doing a Pokemon series. And if you guys ever get a chance, look him up because he does a. Uh, thing with the Pokemon and explains the first edition, what a shadow, shadow is, and all this stuff is, and by far I got it, he has a great video editor and stuff out there so he can produce very good content videos, but it's so easy, they're enjoyable to watch, um, probably just wouldn't let your kids watch it, that's about it, um, but, but he's really uh, grown up through the years, but I picked out three channels um, for different reasons. And it's basically, they have expanded the niche of uh, just coming online, doing baseball cards, uh, sports cards in general. And they put time in their video, whether it's by their thumbnail or their video. So they're just not always just coming on, just doing, uh, selling cards and stuff like that. There, There's not, nothing wrong with that. I love going on channels where you guys selling uh, cards and stuff. I try to get on there and pick up some stuff from here and there. Um, but I, I, I was looking more for, I guess you could say like a total concept of, uh, the hobby in, in general. And I didn't want to pick anybody that was too huge out there just for the fact that they've been doing it for a while. So I look for people who've been doing it for under two years. Uh, and you, you guys will see, uh, with who I picked out there. And then also he wanted to show 15 cards in your co PC collection which is really hard for me. I wanted to go up to grab some out of the safe deposit box, but that just wasn't working. I just re-filled uh, up the second one up there. So I picked 15 cards minus one that I picked up this year that I, I would say are probably some of my top picks of the year, uh, minus the ones I put in the safe. So some of you guys might have seen some of these before. They are all PC. Some I have dupes of and stuff like that too, which... You know, I'm always open to trade and sell and stuff like that. But without further ado, let's start off with the top three uh, channels that I watch. And at number three, Mike O. All right, coming in at number three was Mike O. Um, I just recently subscribed to Mike O's channel, and I, I kind of like his thumbnail approach onto it with the videos. It's very eye-catching. Um, he does a good, good concept on everything there is with it. He goes through the breaks. He shows PSA reveals, SGC reveals. Um, I just haven't gone in depth on how far I back, but the thumbnails really catch me, almost like whenever you guys look at, like, uh, Pac-Man and stuff like that, they're very catchy thumbnails, you know, they take some time and effort into them to produce a high-quality thumbnail, so I, I do like it. 
I like the content that he's producing and he's growing. Um, videos are getting stronger along the way. So if you guys haven't checked out Myco yet, link is in the description. Just as uh, I put Magnus's and the other two will be in there as well too for you guys. Check out the channels. Um, they they have some good content out there, and you know it's a good good group to follow. All right. So at number two, and coming in at number two, North Coast baseball cards. North Coast Baseball Cards. I'm used to calling him Greg, and I wanted to make sure that I had it right across the board. So I do apologize, Greg, for a little uh, uh, taking a pause there, but I wanted to make sure I had everything correct on to it. North Coast Baseball Cards actually had another channel prior to this, and he produces really good content out there. Um, he's done giveaways. He's given a Mickey Mantle card giveaway, and I really like the approach to that giveaway. It was something different. Um, he does open up uh, cards, packs, boxes, you know, and he also shows, like, collections and stuff that he's bought onto there. You can take a look at his PSA reveals for some nice vintage. If you guys are into vintage, check out North Coast Baseball Cards. Uh, Greg, who comes to the channel, actually runs that. Uh, I would highly say uh, to go subscribe to him. Uh, I think his, I, can't remember, I think the other channel was just under Greg Fisher, if I remember right. Greg will probably comment down there on, but very, very good content onto it. Um, I, I enjoy it a lot going in and watching his stuff. He produces usually about, what, about maybe two videos a week, somewhere around there. He does an overfill uh, with extra, extra, extra content and stuff like that, which is really good. So, guys, check out Greg's channel, North Coast Baseball Cards. Um, I select him, uh, you know, where I was just going backwards is the second channel that I pretty much go to because I know at least once or twice a week I can sit there in a weekend and go watch Greg's videos. All right. And now we're going to go into number one. And at number one, 502 Frank. And coming at number one, 502 Frank. And, and no, it's not because he's from Louisville and stuff like this. Um, 502 Frank does a very, very good job with his thumbnails, his videos, the... Uh, I'm trying to think how I want to can't get the proper wording in my head out, the variety of videos that he produces. He doesn't really do sales on his channel. A lot of it is he's just opening boxes. Some he's doing PSA, SGC reveals. He talks about the process of grading. He's even linked up with one of the local card shops, and they do, um, we call it the... Uh, Pre-packed uh, boxes stuffed with, it could be anything from hobby boxes to great graded cards. There's some great raw cards into it. But, I mean, he does product reviews before release. Uh, it just, you guys need to check it out. He really puts a lot of time and effort into his videos. He gives something away normally every video as well, too. So, I mean, the giveaway is just part of it, but... When you look at his channel, I mean, just overall, with the thumbnail, the different variety of videos, um, he does go live on occasion. That's usually whenever he's doing the repack product from Louisville Sports Cards. So there's a variety of stuff in there, and he tries to post a video a day. And I, I'll give him a lot of credit because that's really hard to do because you got to try to find content all the time to do that. And you just don't always want to be like, okay, I've opened a box of this, I've opened a box of that up, and do that for seven days, because it can get boring after a while. And not boring as far as the viewers, but very boring as the person making the videos, especially if you're just getting a lot of bla bland boxes. There we go, bland, bland. <laughs> Sound like uh, Count Dracula there in a way. But those are my top three that I would say that I go to on a weekly basis and always check out their videos. That's normally on a weekend where I just have more time to chill. Again, if I didn't pick your channel out, um, 
It was nothing personal. It was just uh, I check a lot of different channels out every weekend. And I was going with people that uh, put some a lot of time and effort into making videos and don't go live a whole lot as well, too. And there's a lot from a creator standpoint on to it. And I'm pretty sure people understand that. All right. Let's move on to some cards that are in my PC because now i got to put these back away. Luckily, the top card I just got out of a Magnus box. This will be going off to BGS to get great. Julio Jones from Crown Royal RPA. And what's funny is this raw sells for like 80, 90 bucks, all right? This here, because the way it was packed, the condition I looked at should get 9.5. Can you believe it jumps to a $400 value that quick? Really a sweet looking card. Uh, auto looks good onto it. I'm just very thankful for this card to have in my collection. If I was to buy a Holio rookie, it would have been an RPA, and th this here, wham, just like does it all for me. All right. I think some of you guys have seen some of these cards before. Michael Jordan, Fleer Metal, I picked this up. I do have three total of these now in my collection, but like I said, these cards are stuff that I've either picked up or had graded this year and either have not moved to the safety deposit box or. I would say because now my safe is more stuck with uh, wax into it. So, and I just redid, and that's a lot of stuff to move around. But I figured you guys like to see some of this stuff here. I don't know. I know some of it's been in videos before. How about a Beau Bichette? This is a Pop 2, last I checked, the black and white version, PSA 10. I had the regular color version, which I did sell, PSA 10, because I wanted to keep this one here. It's just a little more rare to get. And to have a PSA 10 of it with a low pop, just really, really good to have. And Bo was doing very well when he came back from uh, injury as well, too. Oh, yes, that is triple threads behind there. Pug was asking me on, you know, she is nosy. Just kidding. <laughs> but that'll be for a break this weekend. Same with the uh, Heritage Monitor. So real quick, if you guys are in the Monster Den, I'm going to be running this weekend a couple uh, mixers for baseball. And in each mixer, I'm giving away the box of the Heritage Miner. All right. Ben Simmons, Mosaic Prism Rookie. I know there's not a lot of good talk about Ben Simmons, but I love these cards. Um, this is the first year they came out with them. Ben Simmons was so sought after. I just think he's a little bit undervalued right now. I picked this up dirt cheap a while ago. I think it was like 50, 60 bucks and it's gone way up since then. But this here is just one of the rookie cards that stays in the old PC. I have other Simmonses, but, uh, these here are straight from top shelf PC. Cause I try to keep a rookie or two, uh, of my choosing. And as I upgrade them, I always get rid of the lower ones. So I'm not spending as much on to them. All right, you guys probably remember this. This thing was lost in the mail for like three weeks. John Morant Hoops. This is the Teal Explosion, one of the hardest cards to grade. PSA 10. This is just great. And look at that. Yes, I made that sound myself. It was not part of the video uh, where I was editing. Really great looking card. Another hard to grade. Kobe White Hyper. Prism. If anybody knows about these hypers, the hardest thing to grade and attend. If this guy ever soars up in price, it'll this would be probably very hard for me to depart with either way, but I, I would probably adventure into somebody else. But right now, currently in a PC. Let's hit two Akunas back to back. A lot of people are down on Akuna. He's been hitting ups in the playoffs right now. This is a Topps Chrome Refractor Rookie Auto, and then next to it, the original Topps Update. Bat up, however you want to say it. Both of these stand in PC. I do have some BGSs of these, which eventually I'll probably end up moving. But, yeah, the, these here aren't going anywhere. I've kept one of this, and then, of course, this one here. Uh, down the road, you never know what those could actually do. Heck, it might pay, you know, a good chunk of a car one day. Christian Pach, or Pache, Pache, however everybody's saying. Everybody says it differently. So, this one I bought, 
is a PSA 10. This is the first film. The second one was actually one um, raw, and I had it graded. This is the goal from Bowman's Best. So basically his first Bowman Bowman's Best card, gold out of 50. Really cool looking cards. I'm hoping he becomes a stud in the future. But I wanted to at least have something of his in the PC for down the road. Man, if I only would have remembered, but we were opening up draft to buy this guy. Now, his prices have doodled down. Lou Bob himself, you guys just seen this card. I wanted to rise. Told you I don't ever get rid of it. And this here is the, probably the rookie that I'll end up keeping as of now of him. I might pick one more up because I think get two or three normally of them, but it has to be something that's a little bit different than the rest, you know. I, I don't know. That's just me. A lot of controversy last year with this guy, Mason Rudolph. I still think he could do wonders on the Steelers. He just needs to mature up some and get the system down a little bit better. Uh, he didn't have a whole lot of support last year either. And, I mean, support-wise was, you know, you didn't have Antonio Brown. You didn't have Le'Veon Bell. They're st still figuring out their offense. Their defense was carrying a lot of games. This is out of the classics. Um, this came out of honors originally. I had to think what it was. And this is numbered out of 25. This is a pop one. I had it graded. Figured what the heck in case anything ever happens down the road. Even if not, you know, there wasn't much really invested into this card. But I'm really hoping that this might be the Big Ben <laughs> successor. I know there was a lot last year that went on with him. And we'll say uh, one Cleveland Brown individual. Do I have one of these guys? Yep. Okay. Up next, Fernando Tatis. Another guy I should have bought heavily into back in my early Bowman days. But we do have this. This is the Heritage. This is the Purple Refractor PSA 10. Funny part about this, I won this card for $42. And this was before he started getting really hyped up. And it went up just from there. So kind of glad I got to hold on to this. Um, I do have his tops regular rookies that I have with this. But I, I wanted to get something that was, you know, not a, at base level, because since it's with the refractor, it was something different. It was really affordable. I own two of these. Um, both of them I bought way back in the day. Um, both of them have graded 10s. Big Ben Roethlisberger here. These were numbered out of 299. The old stamps are on the back. I think it's a pop five, and I do, own, like I said, two of them. It would take a hefty offer. The last one went like four or five months ago, about seven fifty. And I mean, honestly, unless these things would soar up, this won't ever leave my collection. I would be willing to depart with one for the right trade, probably. I guess you could say, but it, it would have to be something that wowed me because these here are just hard to find any Big Ben auto, especially at ten level. And finally, I purchased this from somebody in one of the breaks. You guys probably remember this from Tier 1, Wade Boggs. I forgot to take this up to the safety deposit box. The only reason why it's here. I think I just told somebody that, too, the other day. Um, I was like, man, I still the Boggs here. It's supposed to go up. I have all my bat knobs and uh, bat barrels up in the safety deposit box. And I forgot to take this up with me. Really cool looking piece. Really happy that he offered it to me. Because um, he knew I was all into these. And it was a reasonable price. I mean, now if he had pulled, like, a Babe Ruth one, or I don't know who all was in that year. There's no way I was even going to come close to it, making that type of purchase that time frame. So I hope everybody enjoys the video. I will be live Friday? I believe Friday night. Yeah, today's Wednesday. I'm, I'm a little bit lost. I know you guys are probably watching this on Thursday. But uh, I'll probably come live for a little bit on Friday. I don't know what I'll open up. Haven't really even gave much thought to it yet. But I will see you guys on Friday night. As always, thank you for viewing the channel. Hopefully, my little edits and stuff that I'm doing this video come out looking good. But first time doing a lot of it, do what I can. And learning from the experience to make a little bit better quality videos uh, that I'm going to put up on YouTube in the future. 
All right, now, again, thank you, Magnus. I do appreciate the box you sent yesterday, how I opened yesterday. And this was a great idea for people to do. Um, I was kind of worried, honestly, about coming my safety deposit box and bringing 15 cards down here because it, it just some of that stuff means so much to me up there. I would hate for something to happen between point A and B and then going back to A whenever I would have a chance. But one day out there, I, I may do it. I should have just uh, brought a camera when I went up there a couple weeks ago and had to lay it all out for insurance purposes, and I could have did like a little show video. I'll try to remember to do that next time for everybody but other than that, everybody have a great rest of your week monday's a federal holiday for those that uh get that day off so you get a little three-day break take care out there stay safe as always and thank you again for the support uh we went a little over 20 minutes i was trying to keep it under but we were close all right everybody have a good one